All right, all right. Well, glad you're here. Today we're going to learn two great songs that are great for bass and very <laughs> recognizable. And just get ready to impress once you learn them because they are popular and to know these are great songs. So, so if you don't know me by now, I'm Donald Witt, the bass instructor for the How to Play Bass online course, I want to play bass.com. And that's where I'm helping aspiring bassists every day reach their bass playing goals. <clears throat> So if you haven't yet, subscribe down below, comment if you want, let me know what you think, and definitely hit the bell notification because I've got, I've started a series as of the other day, I'm putting out two songs, 10, 10 easy songs to learn on bass that um, you should know. So those are some good songs. This Today's lesson's a little, you know, not, not the easiest song, but a very popular one and easy. You can learn it, just a little, take a little more effort in it. Put, you'll have to put a little more effort into it, but great song and very recognizable. And that's that's what you want. You want to play stuff that people know, because I mean you can sit around all day long and write your own stuff, and you like it, but not necessarily it's going to feed to the masses. But we know these songs have been around for quite a while now, and they've been popular, and they're still still um, growing today. So you want to know these kind of songs, and you it, just put them into your repertoire. It's just kind of helps you, it influences to you, your bass playing, and it'll help you create different lines, and, you know, it just, it's just, an, it helps you in more ways than just one, so, so let's get to it, we've got, today we're going to do, I'll, I'll just play a little bit of it, see if you even know it. that at all well if you do let me know down below and if you don't let me down off let me know down below in the comments too because I can um I can dig a little deeper for you but this is sweet emotion by Aerosmith so now you do know and it starts that little bass riff there is real popular it starts off on the 12th fret the octave A so it's just right there and we're going to use A G octave A first very first half that lick and it's just it's got a little picking um, challenge there so that's just a little pop that octave G is just a little pop it kind of bounces around That's the rhythm, I'm sorry. So that's just starting on D, kind of pull off to C, to A, and then to F sharp. Then just a chromatic walk up. Maybe six times, I can't remember exactly how many times, but then the very last time it goes.
get to the rhythm. This time it goes in. It goes back up to that. right there just this little that's just D to A it's just mainly just not a lot of notes just plucking over here Now this time it stops on like the third time or fourth time it stops. There's a little bit in there and it goes, this is the outro. So that just goes right to E. sweet emotion for you right there. Sweet emotion, <clears throat> and that's that's a good one. Definitely <clears throat> take your time on that one. It's a fun one to play. <clears throat> now the next one we're gonna do is 
another very popular one. You hear this one at football games, you know, pro football games and pep rallies. You know, it's a, uh, it's great. See if I can remember it. It's um, um, it's gonna be. Another one bites the dust by Queen, <clears throat> which has become popular again since the, the movie that's been released. But <clears throat> great movie, check it out. They do good. But it's just it's the very first part is gonna start off right like that. Then E comes from G A A G E. But it only does that once. It doesn't do it every time. It just does it once. That's all it is right there. That's that's the baseline. Just starts off the very intro. One, two, three. And it just does that for the longest time. Then it goes into a. We go into a. one thing about being a bass player you've got to refrain like just I want to do that do it every time but you got to refrain it's not every time it's one time and that's what keeps it colorful is they like you once you keep doing it over it just wears it out so one time and coming into the intros every time coming into the ver verses that's all just and you got to keep that's one thing about being bass is you've got to you've got to refrain from playing a lot of notes you're just a bass you just driving that groove so then we go then we have the course what it does it doesn't go it goes it, instead of it goes so that's all it is so this our little course is C So it does that. Then there's one part in there. There's a little breakdown. They go into um, goes in back. Just comes out of the verse for a second.
then it goes in a little little break and to come bring back into the you go from the verse and there's a little break in there it goes with his uh, vocal line it just goes right out it goes into the F sharp so it's but it's just easy so it's so you've got our verse intro then you go into the verse then you've got a little chorus first for a couple times Wait. then you go into a little break so that just goes right in that little break then you go back into the verse There's another little, another chorus. sharp and it just it rolls into the back to the A E F sharp G and you just and you do go back to the B for split for a second and then you do the anticipated G again so, so that's all there's does that rest of the song goes out and actually it breaks in there not doing anything and then when it comes back in it does that lick again and then we pretty much go it goes right out after that just walks goes out of the song just ends from that line right there so that is another one bites the dust and you got the verse you got the intro and that's all bass it's all this that's, that's your spotlight right there so it's all bass then you go into the chorus section of the verse back into the verse and then we go into the court do another chorus again do that do the verse then we do another ending out of the ver outro of the verse just a bridge of the verse <clears throat> and then you get carried out from there like I say it stops in there um, for a while they're just just drums and just some I think he's scratching some records or something but you know a great song and then you come back in so that's those are two great songs and like I say leave a comment down below if there's something you didn't quite get or if I forgot to explain something but it's um I think it's all right there so 
definitely subscribe, hit the bell notification, and visit IWantToPlayBass.com. Sign up and get started on your bass playing goals. Okay, thank you all. See you soon.